And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Baltimore Ravens finally make a move, signing somebody to the team, somebody who's familiar with the Baltimore Ravens now, that being Malik Harrison. They signed him to a one-year deal. Let's read the report from Mr. Adam Schefter. Ravens are re-signing free agent linebacker Malik Harrison to a one-year deal per sources. I want y'all to put the word out and tell the world that we back up, baby. Ravens back up. Now, l let me take you back to last year. Do y'all remember who the Baltimore Ravens' first signing was in free agency last year? It was Justice Hill. They re-signed the special teamer slash backup player, depth player, Justice Hill, to a two-year contract, and everybody was so upset. Everybody was angry. So many people were frustrated like, man, that's what we're doing. It's all these teams out here making moves, and we re-signed Justice Hill to a two-year deal. That's the big move. That's our first move. And look how that team turned out last year. They made it to the AFC Championship. They should have went further. We know, of course, but... The team that was put together was amazing, amazing. The best team that Eric DaCosta has assembled thus far. So I say that to say this, with this being the Baltimore Ravens' very first move of free agency, chill, it's okay. And again, like I said before, I get it, but this is the very first day. The season ain't starting tomorrow. The season ain't starting in three days. The season ain't even starting next week, not even next month. What are we in, March? The season don't start for another... Ooh, it sounds bad to say it out loud, but the season don't start for another six months. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, we, 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 got, we got a while to go. We, we, we got a while to go, but we, we going to make it there. But um, Malik Harrison, somebody who comes in, great run defender, could come in if, if you need him to start. Okay, cool. You need him to be a, a depth player. Okay, cool. You need him on special team. Okay, cool. They resigned Malik Harrison to a one year deal. Okay, cool. Wonder what his role is going to be now. Um, with Trenton Simpson expected to make a bigger jump, what will they do with Malik Harrison? I know before last year he was in on a lot of rundowns. A uh, good edge guy, very, very strong, very, very powerful. I will never forget Malik Harrison's battles with Mr. Derrick Henry. Now, I wonder if those battles are going to occur in practice. Now, hey, we're going to see soon, but it's a beautiful thing. It, 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 this is, I know a lot of people, we, we want to get the sexy signing. We want the big name. We want the big, and, and don't, that's still going to happen in due time, but you still got to have depth. One of the biggest things with the Baltimore Ravens last year that so many fans, so many media people, so many analysts, so many coaching staff, so many everybody continued to commend the Baltimore Ravens on was what? It was depth. It was having quality depth. And the reason that we know the Baltimore Ravens had a crazy amount of quality depth last year was because when this guy got hurt, the Ravens, they didn't take a step back. When that guy was missing, the Ravens still kept winning. When that guy was out, the Ravens still kept playing good. When that guy went down, oh, the Ravens still stood tall. They still did their thing, and they did it all the way to 13-4. and four. They had an amazing record, had an amazing team, and they had amazing depth. Not every single signing that you make is a starter. Not every single signing that you make is going to be a splash. It's not. So with Malik Harrison being resigned, and I don't want to make it like we disrespect Malik Harrison at all because I do seriously believe that this is a good signing for the Baltimore Ravens because, again, it gives you more flexibility. Because right now, your inside linebackers, you got Roquan Smith. You got a Trent Simpson. Well, Trent Simpson could be inside, outside. Malik Harrison, I guess he could be considered inside, outside too. You got different guys that can do different things. So heading into the draft, you want to have as much flexibility that, as you possibly can. A lot of people looked at the Baltimore Ravens and looked at their losses that they lost today thus far because <laughs> there could still be more. It's only what? It's only 9.06. Um, a lot of people looked at the Ravens' losses today thus far, and they saw Geno Stone lost him. Oh, man, it sucks. Um, but Geno Stone, he's a good player. And while I do think, I mean, really most players I think are replaceable because it happens. It's a business. You have to keep on moving whether you keep a player or not. Geno Stone was a good player, but they can find somebody who can make some plays at the safety position. I mean, they got somebody in Marcus Williams. He just got to stay healthy. 
He just got to stay healthy. That's the biggest thing with Mark. He just got to stay healthy. That's been his only issue with the Baltimore Ravens, man. Remember when he was healthy the, two years ago, catching all them picks left and right? Then he got hurt. Then this year, boom, he got hurt from jump. Uh, lost Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards, some, that, somebody that could have been a starter, should have been a starter, had started a little bit here and there, but was never made to be the guy. But, you know, the Baltimore Ravens, they know how to find them some running backs. They know how to get some running backs to produce. They know how to do that. And now they also lost um, Devin DuVernay. They didn't really use him at wide receiver. They used him as a, as a gadget guy. He was the uh, the jet sweep king. Y'all remember that? Shout out to Devin DuVernay. Uh, but Zay, Zay Flowers, he took over that role. So, anyway, but with Devin DuVernay, he was a Baltimore Ravens kick returner. Their punt returner, he got hurt. Tyler Wallace stepped in, and on his very first punt return, what did he do in that Rams game? He showed, like, oh, oh nah, I got it. He doesn't have the speed that Devin DuVernay has, but he definitely got the shiftiness. So he was the perfect fit and replacement for Devin DuVernay at punt return. And at kick return, I think they still trying to work some things out. So we'll see who the Ravens end up being uh, or end up having that kick return. But my point is that. All of those guys, those are guys that the Ravens, they will be able to replace because all of those guys, they started as depth guys. Every last one of them, they started as depth guys. And they ended up getting an increased role due to injury. And that's the name of the game in the NFL. Guys get more opportunities because of injury. It happens all the time. I mean, I'm sure y'all saw the clip of... um. Marlon Humphrey was talking to RG3 on uh, the Punchline podcast. Shout out to Jack Settlement too. Uh, where, and that just reminded me of that. Like, RG3 got his opportunity because of what? Injury. Well, because the team was bad, too. But Lamar Jackson, he got his opportunity because of what? Because of injury. Joe Flacco got hurt. Lamar Jackson, whoo, there you go. But on that clip where uh, John Harbaugh was talking, well, Marlon Humphrey was talking about how um, John Harbaugh addressed the whole team and was basically saying, like, hey, I know there's rumors about me getting f from 2018, by the way. But John Harbaugh was like, I know there's rumors about me getting fired. I just want to address it to everybody. But we're we, we going to talk about that a little later on. And I know y'all seen it. Watch it if you haven't seen it. But um, my point is that I injuries happen, so you got to have quality depth. And injuries provide opportunities. But all of these guys, they got opportunities because of injuries. Not to say they can't play. Not to say they don't belong in the league because they all do. But... Baltimore Ravens, this is where depth is going to be tested. It's going to be tested everywhere because injuries happen, unfortunately. So Malik Harrison, somebody that has started, that has been a role player, maybe his role may get increased, and then he could set himself up for an even bigger payday in the near future, next year. So we'll see. But, again, this is not a bad move. And, again, I know Ravens fans, they, they upset. They're going crazy right now. <laughs> it's okay. Trust me, it is. I love y'all. Team Keep It Clean, y'all keep your heads up. Ravens fans, y'all keep your heads up. it only get better. Well, Ravens going to still lose some people too, so those will hurt. But trust me, more is on the way. More is on the way. Don't don't give up. So, so you can find out what happens when it happens. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. And you can keep checking, keep refreshing. But... Turn the notifications on so you don't, know, you don't miss a single video. And leave a like on the video, too. Because when we upload, say, for instance, YouTube acting a little funny, if you leave a like on the video, YouTube can recommend you to the channel. So you can be, oh, okay, hey, they like, that, they like this channel a little bit? Okay, we'll keep sending them videos. We'll keep sending them updates. And there's a lot of updates, as y'all seen today. It's been going crazy. And we ain't even covered everything going on in the NFL. But it's still been a crazy day for us. I know it's been a crazy day for y'all. I love you, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate your team. Keep it clean. Malik Harrison, welcome back to the squad.